back, Angelo Pons. We'll start on your right with Mike and then go to Zach. Yeah, Angelo. Uh, Kurt has talked about kind of your mindset was different. That kind of separated you from the other freshman last year, helped you kind of gain a starting role. What is different about your mindset? What is different about your approach and your maturity that kind of stood out to this coaching staff? Uh, my mindset is just uh, come in, take one day at a time, uh, get 1% better, just be the best version of myself, and just find ways to get better. So that's what separates me. We'll go on, Sam, you're right with Zach, and then go to Matt. I think it's kind of following up on that, but we talked to Coach Zaghetti about the process you kind of went through last year where you, know, you kind of earned playing time progressively, and then the more the field you see, the more success you have. Like, Can you kind of take any of that experience and, and overlay it here where – you know the scheme, you know the coordinator, but it is a it is a new school, and maybe going through that same process of having to earn your way and earn your playing time. Yeah, definitely. Um, I feel like um, coming in as a freshman, you definitely got to earn your stripes, uh, show everybody that you can um, come in, come in and play, and that's what I did, and I'm doing that now here. We'll stay in your right, the second row with Matt, and then go to Todd. Hey, Angel. Um, not a ton of new guys at the corner spot at safety. There's a bunch of new faces on the secondary overall. How have you guys kind of been able to? Sort of gel, starting. I know that's a thing where you guys kind of know what each other's doing. How's that coming along so far? Um, I think it's coming on, coming along uh, well. We just got to work on communicating. That's what we're working on now. Um, it's coming on pretty good now. Right, we're going to left with Todd and go to Jack. D'Angelo, you said as a freshman, you had to earn your stripes. So taking what you kind of put in the bank last year to this year, do you feel like you have to take the same mentality playing in the Big Ten and also kind of augmenting when you were able to do successfully? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, shoot, um, everywhere you got to earn your stripes, especially if, if you're new. So you got to show everybody you can come in, come in and compete. So, yeah. Stand your left with Jack and go to Seth. Yeah, just when you were in the portal, how did you ultimately uh, decide on Indiana over some of the other schools that were interested in you? Um, it was really a no-brainer for me. Um, me already being successful in the system, my relationship with the coaches, um, it was really a no-brainer. We'll stay on your left with Seth and go to Owen. I mean, you talk about earning your stripes and having to prove yourself but last year. I mean, was there any play or any game that you had that you start to really feel like, okay, I'm, I'm kind of showing everybody what I can do now? Um, it was not a specific game, but I, I felt like from day one, um, I always just been myself and then just came in and be the best version of myself, and that's it. Go front right to Owen and then Pete. Yeah, Coach Rod has coached a couple of all-conference players. Obviously, you had some recognition yourself. How is he – Helped you through this process throughout uh, spring and fall camp, and how do you think he's going to continue to improve the rest of the room? Um, he helped. He helped me a lot. Uh, well, he helped the whole room a lot. Um, he's big on technique. Um, I feel like that's good for corners. We need technique. Um, he helped us just being consistent on our technique and uh, just being consistent. We'll go Pete, second row on your left, and then Matt. How much have you embraced the, you know, the man one-on-one -on -one coverage, uh, especially going against you know elite type receivers? And what's the key to being able to stay? Um, the key is technique. Um, my coach harps on it. Uh, just being, trusting your technique. Um, just trusting your technique and being consistent. That's it. You know, Matt, second row on your right, and then Mike. Um, everybody talked about the receiver room. That's probably one of the most deep and talented on, on the roster. How's it helped not only you, but just you guys in secondary going against them, rep in and rep out every day? Um, I feel like we got the, one of the better receiver rooms in the uh, conference. Uh, they just, we just get each other better every day. Um, Going against those guys get me better. Um, so when a game comes, it's easy. Anybody, anybody in that room that's like, from a coach that nobody's getting open against you, but anybody that's giving you some problems? Um, nobody specifically. Uh, nah, nobody specifically. You know, Mike, front row on your right, and then Todd. You mentioned kind of the system and the scheme. What about that uh, uh, um, helps you with the uh, at quarterback? What, what, what has helped that the scheme make the corners successful in, in, for JMU? Um, I feel like uh, this, the way the scheme set up, um, the corners are really on the island. So that's why it's, it's big on technique. If you don't trust your technique on the island, then you're by yourself. You're literally by yourself. So you got to trust your technique. Right, we'll go to Todd on your left. D'Angelo, uh, you know, the corner's job is to have a nose for the ball, and you had some interceptions last year. But you also had a couple. Of, you, had, you had a fumble recovery, and you also had a, a, punt, a touchdown off of a block punt. Just talk about having a nose for the ball, and. and is any one of those moments last year uh, stick out as a favorite? Um, yeah, definitely got to have a nose for the ball. Uh, me being undersized, I got to do everything to like uh, separate myself and run into the ball as one. So that's one thing I harp on, just run into the ball, get into the ball, and yeah, making plays. Any of those moments from last year stick out as a favorite? 
Uh, I would say the uh, fumble recovery from UVA uh, stuck out. Mike, last one. How are the other quarterbacks looking to you, and how have you got the development kind of you coming in late, and obviously in the spring? Um, we gel really well. Actually, two of them are from the same area as me, so I kind of already know them. But um, we gel really well. Um, we just competing, uh, coming in, pushing each other, helping each other uh, get better on certain things. They'll come in and ask me like what, what they think I um, they should get better at, and I ask them the same thing. So we all just competing. Great. Thanks, D'Angelo. Appreciate it. Thank you